It's been a bit of a while since I filmed one of these. But I felt like it was worth celebrating the occasion. So in a small little taste of the future, I am living in Basingstoke for the next few weeks. We've already done one video here, which is, well, not here, but in the general area, which was the random journey of Greater London Redux. But you know, why do all London content? That would be boring very quickly. So here we are at Farnborough, Maine, and I felt I may as well mark the occasion by giving it the pointless journey treatment. So here we are, we're going to go to Farnborough North, which is just down the road, exclusively by train. Time for another pointless journey. Now, of course, the logical way to go about this would be to basically go to Woking, Guildford, and then Farnborough North. But you know, that'd be the obvious way, and that would be boring. Let's begin by going to Weybridge. Yeah, this feels proper good to be doing again. I've not filmed one of these since January, which was the Dorchester West one. I know on the channel there was the April Fool's Net Edition one, but you know, I didn't film that one, I wasn't there. So this is the first one I've done since January. It's about eight months ago now. I've been able to ride a few 455s in the time I've been here, and um, needless to say, I think I found my new local train to complain about. Well, local-ish train to complain about. They're, they're basically just electric 150s. The only thing making them slightly better is the fact that they're a lot longer and they're electric. But yeah, they're basically just the 150 of this area. On the flip side though, I do absolutely love the Desiros, the 444s and 450s. They are so good. I just, I love Desiros. They're such good trains. And the fact that I've got, you know, like 10 to 12 car, the longest electric multiple units now at a local station, which is so crazy coming from, you know, a place that frequently has two car diesel trains. So just, oh. Train is for London Waterloo. So, Weybridge. Now, I do have a half an hour wait here until we're on the move again, but the train I need, actually, funny enough, is already pulling in. So, at least I've got a comfy seat to sit on while we wait. Strangely, this does say on the departure board up there that it's a train to Barnes, which is a bit weird, because I think this goes to Waterloo. I'm guessing it's the sort of case where this is a much slower route, like it's quite indirect, it sort of does a bit of a spiral, um, and so therefore they say it's going to Barnes when actually it's not. To make people get on the quicker services to London. That would make sense. So where are we going to on this service? Well, funny you asked. We are going to a place that I'm going to have to say the name again and do a take two for, because the previous time I said the name wrong and I don't fancy getting this video demonetized. We're going to Virginia Water. I have actually checked the timings now, and apparently it takes about an hour 20 to get to Waterloo on this service versus around half an hour on the direct ones. So I can understand why they say this goes to Barnes instead of Waterloo. Hmm, 458. I've not actually uh, seen one of those in the new redone refurb livery yet. Try and ride one of those at some point. All these places like Weybridge, Chertsey, Adelstone, Virginia Water, they all sound really posh. Don't know if they are posh, but just from the names alone they kind of sound it. I think we'll have just gone over the M25, or the M3 actually, given the location. I don't... 50-50 chance, either the M5 or the M23. Anyway, pulling into Virginia Water now.
So Virginia Water, a station where two lines meet. And the station kind of acts as a nice junction station, which is quite cool. Uh, so I've had to swap over to the other line and we're now going to head towards Wokingham. I was looking at the departure times for the uh, train I was on and apparently we were meant to like leave here at 10.56 and then the train I'm getting to Wokingham is at 11.01 and the fact our train was running like three or four minutes late coming in here I was like oh god am I gonna miss the connection but yeah I was reading the departure times the train I was on actually had about a timetabled 10 minute wait here or something so I needn't have worried. So I was meant to have about a six minute connection at Wokingham, and this train is running five minutes late, but I don't need to worry about that because it's got worse. My connection is cancelled and it's an hourly service to Farnborough North from Wokingham. All right, well, I've done a bit of thinking and I've come up with an idea. So the Reading services are half hourly and the service I'm connecting to is hourly. So I can afford to get off at one station, any random station along the way. So I think I'm going to get a random number generator and select one. 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 So, we'll get off at the next stop, which is Ascot. All right, well, Ascot. This was not part of the plan, but nevertheless, here we are now. Oh yeah, this is where they run the um, very short service to Aldershot. They run the Ascot to Aldershot services from here. Of course. Forgot that was a thing. Well, there's not really much I can do now, apart from wait for the next Reading service. So, uh, I'll see you when that arrives. Then, well, half an hour later, here we are, on the next service going towards Reading. So, we'll take this one to Wokingham, and then we'll wait for the connection for the next service that goes to Farnborough North from there. It's slightly annoying that this cancellation has made this total journey 50% longer because this was going to take two hours originally, including, you know, making it a bit more complicated than the simple route. So, uh, yeah, this is now three hours, 50% longer than it was meant to be. There was actually meant to be a Gatwick Airport service that doesn't call it Farmer North, that leaves working um, six minutes after this service arrives. But the service is running six minutes late. If I'm able to catch it, then I will. I'll get it like one stop or something. But if I don't, then oof. Hmm. It was on the platform, but I'm completely at the wrong end of the train. There's no footbridge near me. I'm not making that. Oh yeah, okay. I'm seeing it. It's leaving. Oh well, what a shame. <laughs> oh well, it's not that huge a deal. That wasn't going to Farmer North anyway. That only really would have allowed me to tick off like Blackwater Station or something. So anyway, about 23 minutes to the next Gatwick Airport train that does call at Farnborough North and it's actually running and isn't cancelled which is quite relieving. Yeah, it's uh, busy. Not surprising though given the cancellation. This map says Reading Green Park opens 2022. It did not in fact open in 2022. I believe it's only about 15 minutes or so to Farnborough North from Wokingham, so despite the fact I'm standing, it's not the end of the world. And well, Farnborough North. It's a uh, bit smaller than its uh, Farnborough Main counterpart. Well, I mean, mainly because it only gets three-car network of turbos, which makes sense. We're pretty much right next to the Surrey border as well. This is in Hampshire, but the Surrey border is just down the road. 
which is quite cool about this station. Um, anyway, yeah, so I can finally say once again, for the first time in quite a few months, another pointless journey done. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel.